internet, this is the 1535 Pelly's newest offering from its latest air species. Now this kind of looks like the 1510, doesn't it? And essentially it is. However, it's a little less lumpy, a bit more ergonomically pleasing, sexier, and it boasts to be 40% lighter. Kind of like the Tom Hiddleston version of me, I guess. But the question is, does it float? Guess so. The case on the right is my 1510 and straight away it's easier to spot those tweaks. The thinner fixing points and obviously less chunky leading edges. And there are some not so subtle changes. There's no longer a top handle. The drag handle takes over that job. The business card holder now replaces the old nameplate and the handle itself slides directly down into the body. I quite like that idea. There's not going to be any more arguments with the airlines about fitting it into the overhead bins. That's not irritating at all. And it still has wheels. We love wheels. Okay, let's take a look. Ah, okay, so previously you could choose between foam and dividers as a setup, but now Pelly has been working with a new company called Trek Pack to offer this, an entirely new system whereby you can divide your stuff up. Let's give it a crack. I am now ready to do my cutting of this stuff. Trek Pack says I should measure twice, cut once, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm a man. So we've been given this very interesting looking circumcision tool, I guess. So we place the blade where we want to cut roughly into one of the slots and then drag it straight down. And there we go, a perfect fitting piece, he said, fingers crossed. Let me slide that in there. And there we go. That's actually not bad. Take the little pins. One in there. One in there. And there we go. Snug hidey hole. Oh my god, this has turned into the most boring video ever. Sorry. Let's speed this up. I'm going to go and test some of Pelly's claims now. One of which being that they are crush proof. But what's the weight limit? How much can these cases actually withstand? Enter the old British Army 101. Now I'm pretty sure we all know where this is going, don't we? Right, so let's see what crush proof means. Avanti. And it's alive. I'd say that's fairly successful, wouldn't you? Very right good. Now the 1535 is a carry-on size piece of luggage. That seems a bit alright. To be honest, I'd be quite happy with this case in the hold. However, if you are precious, you can take it on board with you. And it is a bit more slimlined. I noticed I could fit it in the panniers of this bike while working. Now one of the major selling points of a Pelly case is that it's waterproof. However, I didn't want to cheat. That is actually filled with around about 20 grams worth of work gear. Sweet. I'd say that's a fairly successful test. I'm not doing any more. <laughs> okay, so let's make a very hypothetical situation. I'm on my way to Paris. Now my very wealthy, until recently wealthy husband, is gonna be earning some extra pocket money by performing in front of a sellout crowd where he will not have any kind of meltdown. Meanwhile, I am gonna stay home alone in a hotel with all of my favorite jewelry. Hmm. Now I know that would never happen, but if it did, could I be confident that the 1535 would keep everything safe? Let's find out. Oh no, thieves have made off with my jewels. And then red, that's rolling. Gandalf, it's alive! 
ready for its return to Sandringham. Unfortunately, it's still as hideous as ever. But, I mean, how breakable is this? Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, Paul, you've just put something that's totally unbreakable in there. We'll just got, we'll just get another one from Games Workshop. Okay, so if you are used to travelling on aircraft, chances are you will be used to using these little lipo bags. The idea is if your battery does end up blowing up, catching fire or anything like that, it's all contained in this bag. But what would happen if you didn't have one of these? What would happen if you had an event such as a fire with one of your batteries and it was just in this case? For the idiots out there, I know that's not what this is designed to do. Okay, I'm just wondering what would happen if it actually did happen. Now, I've got my North Korean grandmother's sacred trinket. Not that one, different one. And I'm gonna pop it in here. And I've also got a battery fire simulator. Okay. Brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh no. That's not good, is it? Now sadly Granny's trinket was destroyed. The blast was just too great. However, the fire didn't damage the case whatsoever. A quick scrub up and it was like a brand new button. I did, however, manage to destroy a GoPro. Whoops. Now I've dragged these cases pretty much all over the world. They're tough and they seem to be fairly idiot proof. Well, me proof anyway. So the 1535, so far so good. Would I use one in the field? Yes, I would. I can't see you. 